Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, just playing around. I don't know that you'll ever make anything like that, but I thought I'd show you a couple of tools. One of them is the interactive field tool. The other one is the clone tool to do this a little easier because you can't copy the interactive field tool from one side to the other. So we're going to take a six-sided polygon, holding down the control button. Normally I work during the center of the page, but I'm just out of it. I'm going to take a two-point line, and there's going to be a center in this and just go outwardly. This is how I make a cube. And so this thing is huge. Let's make it a little smaller. So we're still like 25 inch nudge. And I'm just gonna take one of these with the smart fill tool and I'm gonna move that over. Then I'm gonna take the interactive fill tool and put a little black. Now, you can change this at any time, but you can't just make another one let's get back to the smart fill tool you can't just copy that fill if you go to your attribute eyedropper and sample it there and put it there it does the opposite it's going the same direction and it's not even the same so what you could do to make this effect that i did is to clone this so you've only got one Go up to edit and clone, double click on it and move your rotation of there. It's a third of a circle, so it's 120 degrees. And then control D again, and you have that block. And they all look pretty good because I've rotated it on that black corner. But if we take the interactive fill tool again, this is our clone. Look what I'm doing. I'm changing all of them at the same time you know and making them even and you could go you know make it look completely different um i, I kind of like the way my first one came out so i'm going to leave it about like that now we've got a white line so you could take this and right click a black line kind of hide that and that's all i did i'm going to control g to group it this time i'm going to put it on a I'm going to draw a rectangle and just make it blue. Go up to object order back of page. Eh, looks better in black. So we'll take it and make it black. It really makes it kind of stand out uh, every time I do something on black. So, but then you could, I've grouped this together. You could still, I think we're going to have to ungroup it to, no, we don't. Look at that. And you could really, really get some different looking effects. Um, and then you could still change colors. We could put it yellow there. Wow. Total different look. Anyway, just playing around. Uh, let's go back to black. You have to hit that plus sign or put it in that corner. And, and then you can always change the let me look at that. Wow. There's some total, look at that. It almost looks like they're disappearing into each other. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.